After importing an input triangle mesh, the user can create a new sheet by clicking anywhere on the surface. The sheet's initial orientation is aligned with one of the principal curvature directions, and it can be rotated by 90 degrees by pressing a key if necessary. The point can be freely moved around, and the orientation can also be adjusted. A new point can be added to the current sheet by clicking. The sheet's geometry smoothly interpolates these control points. The user can hide the boundary surface and see the sheet's geometry inside the volume. A point can be added also inside the volume, and it can be freely moved and rotated. By clicking elsewhere, the current sheet is deselected, and the user can create another sheet by clicking on the surface. When the user is done with creating enough sheets, she can let the system compute the hex mesh layout. After a bit of waiting, the system shows a preview of the final hex mesh edges using textures. The user can change the number of edge subdivisions defined on each sheet. The user can also reset all the number of edge subdivisions according to a particular target edge length. After adjusting the number of edge subdivisions, the user lets the system generate the final hex mesh. These tools are useful for creating sheets that are like an extrusion of a 2D profile curve along the normal direction. With the cylinder tool, the user draws a rough stroke. The system then generates a canvas plane and draws a circle on it that best fits the drawn stroke. The user can adjust the position of the canvas and the radius of the cylinder as needed. With the 2D sketch tool, the user also draws a rough stroke. This time, the system then generates a small number of control points on the canvas plane. The user can freely modify these control points just like the freeform tool explained before.